Hello, and today I'm going to show you how to make your home videos look like professional Hollywood films. The first step is to import your video. Click on Import Media and find a video. I'll choose a video that I used for my project. Grab your video and drag it to your timeline. Here's your video. Now the first step is to change the frame rate per second. Or we, the frame rate, I mean. For what we do, we select the video, we click up here, top left corner, project video properties. We look at the menu, it's 30 frames per second. We have to find a 25 or 24 frames per second setting. Here is HDV 720 25 frames per second. I will select this one. This is because most Hollywood films use 25 frames per second on their movies. This is because the video is not too mo not too rigid and it's not too smooth either. The perfect frame rate. Click OK. Now the next thing that is noticed in a lot of movies, most movies actually, all Hollywood movies, is the widescreen, uh, the widescreen variation. What we do is we click on Event Pan Crop. We'll load this page. We select the video. We select this. Make sure this size about center is selected. We grab the top and we move it down this way. As you can see over here, it has made borders. One of the things you may notice is it does cut the top of your frame. So what you do is just grab the frame, put it up. The borders stay the same. It will cut the bottom rather than the top. You know, the top is more important than the bottom. Now, so you don't have to do this for every single video clipping in your movie. What you want to do is change the preset. You go up to your preset and click and type film. This means all you have to do next time you want to do this is change the preset to film and it will do it automatically. Save. Now we close. Next, what we do is we start the color correction. The first color correction we want to do is the color corrector. We click on video effects or just click here, but I like to do it here. We look for a color corrector. The first one, not the secondary. We drag red midtones to the video, like so. You can play around with these midtones, uh, but these are my preferred settings. My preferred settings are, you can move it up here, somewhere around 146, so we can look for 146, somewhere around there, um, and 0 0.29, so we can skip it at 0 0.2, and 1.46, just added a little bit. Uh, for mid, I like to play around and I choose 123 and 0 0.5 and high I like to keep it at 308 makes it nice and yellow now this works for only mostly um, warm movies not very cold um, comedy movies I mean I meant this works for more dramatic Hollywood movies this color correction. Once again, we change the preset to film. Save so you don't have to do this again. Unless you want to change it again. You click the X and it will do it automatically for you. Uh, next, what I want to do is uh, open up Warm Beignet. This will give it uh, an engulfing look, making it look more like a movie. What we look is for soft contrast. Let it load. We grab Warm Beignet. I have a film already done, but let me just show you. Warm and yay. We look on my preset, film. I just copy all these settings. I like to have my stretch range 85, contrast 50, 90, 00, 0 48, and 41. Uh, pause the screen if you need to read them all and copy them down. My vignette settings are as followed 100% strength with black, rectangle shape 50, 95.4. 83, 15, 50, and 50. These can change if you don't want. This is optional, obviously. Once again, save it, save the preset as film. And finally, what I like to do 
is my color curves. Color curves are important to give it a nice finalized look. Uh, we look for color curves. We just grab the default one. And I'll just be the screen. And it'll always be a straight line. What we want to do is make it kind of an S shape. We grab this one and put it up. Making it brighter in this one. Just balance that out. Very softly. Not too dark. If it gets too dark, just move like this. As you can see, the channel is RGB. We also want to change the red. Now the red, you don't want it that much. You don't want that much red. So you bring that down and bring this up a little bit like, like or like there. Green as well, just finalize it to make it look as you please. And blue. Make it look kind of yellow. Shave. You save it as film. Save. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Uh, we can click up here to see a split screen of what you have created. As you can see, there goes the video. You can change the split screen right to half to the original video compared to this video. As you can see. So as you can see here, you can click on split screen and split the screen. You can compare both videos. This is the left video and this is the right video. Both very different. But the changes to the screen and it's like half or look at the video as it is. And there you go. That's how you make whatever home movie look a little more professional. Thank you.